So this is a quick guide which will be showing you how to extract Xbox 360 ISO images and being able to be uh, play them on your um, your RGH or JTAG Xbox. Uh, so what you'll need to do uh, first of all is you'll need to grab a copy of um, ISO extract which will be I'll pop a link um, in the description so you can download it and then obviously you're going to need your games. Um, so I've just got some some games here that are in ISO form. So I've got GTA San Andreas, Resident Evil 4, and Ridge Racer 6. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to download the copy of ISO Extract, you're going to open ISO Extract. Um, in the ISO folder, you're going to want to make a folder of all your ISOs and then put the ISOs into folders. Uh, if you don't do this, it will just name the folder, um, It will it, sorry, it will name the extracted file um, this 360 ISO and it's it, 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 it will then start overwriting files and it, it won't be right. So what you'll need to do is make a folder then in that folder put the ISOs and in, then put the ISOs into folders so they're like this. So I've got San Andreas in there, Resident Evil 4 in there and Ridge Racer 6 in there. Uh, if you have a download manager like JDownloader you can get this to do it for you. So once you've got that you want to copy the location and pop it in ISO folder and then in destination you want to put your games folder which is up here and then you just want to simply select the games you want so I'm just going to do GTA San Andreas for the meantime you're going to want to click your cursive you want to untick delete ISO and then delete the system update and then click go that will then begin to start extracting and we can see it's populated my games folder with GTA SA so we know that it's extracted so I will let this finish and I will come back once it's done. Right, so now that this is done, uh, you'll see here that it will say that the ISO is finished and all these green lines will go be green. And then you'll have a GTA SA folder or whatever game you've got. Uh, so you want to go into that and you'll have all of these bars. Uh, if you see a default.xes, you're fine. Uh, sorry, xex, sorry, not xes. Um, yep, once you've got that, you're ready to go. So now what you want to do is you want to hop into Xbox 360 Neighborhood and you want to make sure you've got your xbox added uh, so you want to double go onto your xbox and then you'll go to retail hard drive emulation and you want to go to uh, make a games folder if you've not got one so you want to do new folder i've already got one so i'm just going to go into games here and then all you do is simply copy drag over and let this do what it needs to do and then once that's done i'll show you how to access the game on the console so now that you've copied over your uh, game using Neighborhood, what you need to do on the Xbox is you want to go over to Games and Apps. You want to go into XEX Menu or XEX Loader or wh whatever, whatever you use. Um, and what I do is I go down to Games. You can scroll down. GTA SA. Scroll down to default.xex and click play. And there we go, just like that. That's all working. And if you have a if you have a stealth server on, if there's any title updates, you're more than welcome to go ahead and do those. You don't need to, you know, faff about putting them on Aurora and enable it this there and this there. You don't need to do that. All you need to do is update using the stealth server it's completely safe to do so and as you can see yep that's all up and running so yeah uh, thank you for watching uh, any issues pop it down in the comments